Installing Open Media Vault on Raspberry Pi is thoroughly covered by Technodad Life, although we covered the Pi 4 on OMV 5, not OMV 4. This video is to quickly cover why I use Open Media Vault and some of the things I forgot to do that are needed. First, why Open Media Vault? It seems the simplest network attached storage solution. Why do I want an as on my local network? I already have a Western Digital 2 terabyte my book live. Well, <clears throat> the Western Digital is getting old and I have Linux machines on my network so figured some modern NAS software might work better. I also wanted to be able to have a common folder that I can use as storage for the Windows or Linux machines. I have switched to LibreOffice New Cache Thunderbird KeyPass for my main programs and each has a Windows and a Linux program so no matter which machine I am on I can run that program and need a common place to put the results. With that background I installed Open Media Vault 4 on a Raspberry Pi 4 4 GB single board computer and added a 250 GB SSD and a 3 TB hard drive via USB 3. The hard drives are attached to a USB 3 hub and the hub is attached to the Pi. I had previously tried an Atomic Pi, but its hardware was not confidence-inspiring. After about a week, the hardwired connection seemed to fail, and I also used OMV5, which is a beta release. I have made file folders on the SSD called Documents, Email, Money, Password, and that is where the common files for the main programs reside. I used my main machine to use Etcher, but the Linux machine can use Etcher also, assuming you use the repository version. But I had so much grief doing the Atomic Pi, I went with what I knew worked. And this is where you get the uh, Open Media Vault software. Go to Open Media Vault, go to Download, you go click here, that gets you to here, you go to Raspberry Pi Images, which gives you here, and uh, this is the one that you download, only for, ra for Raspberry Pi 2, 3, 3 plus, and 4. And one thing it says is remain patient. So once you boot it up the first time, just go away for an hour or so, and then you can come back and uh, go through what uh, Techno Dad Life has. I bought the uh, Canakit Pi 4 4 gigabyte basic starter because it had what I wanted, which is a case with a fan and a switchable power supply. I already had a 16 gigabyte SD card. This is what the uh, <coughs> NAS folders look like on the Linux machine. On the Windows machine I assign drive letters to the network drive so I have W for money, X for password, and Y for email. I had to set up the Linux machine to auto mount the folders at startup. I used SMB CIFS file share instead of NFS because there are Windows machines on the network. To auto mount SMB folders, I used these instructions. <coughs> I had to install AutoFS, CIFS utils was already installed for me. Then it says edit slash etc slash auto dot master as root and add this. Well, that's kind of a uh, pattern. 
what I did because I didn't use uh, Samba. I used uh, this and it's slash MNT slash share folders and that is uh, I changed the timeout too. Then it says edit auto dot samba shares and it gives you share name blah 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 and once again that's a pattern not what I had to do that looks like this so email and you go through and I've got the secret text file UID a th thousand which is uh, what that uh, user ID is and then this is the uh, Samba this is the OMV IP address so you have to have email to email password to password documents to documents and money to money and that's how that is uh, set up so some of the things that uh, I had trouble with is if you go to the file systems you need to mount them and then under uh, shared folders when you first get here it'll be blank so what you need to do is add and you get to choose the name and the device under users I added uh, SSH and Sambashir I'm not sure whether you need either one but uh, since I will SSH into the OMV machine from this machine I think I need to uh, do a SSH so what you do what I would do is uh, here <clears throat> just do a uh, SSH into Lloyd at 192.168.1.28 and by the way I went to my uh, router and reserved that for the uh, OMV Pi 4 and then under SMB CIFS you'll have settings here you have to enable it but you also have to go to shares and enable them add them enable them I did uh, public guest allowed and browsable and that was uh, essentially the couple things that uh, kind of I forgot about but uh, once you get that done you can uh, use your NAS